Every spring I look forward to strawberry season because I love to make strawberry jam. And if you would like to learn the art of canning, this is the perfect place to start. Simple ingredients, fresh strawberries, and those little eight ounce jelly jars. So let's get started learning how to make strawberry jam. I highly recommend you purchase the blue book Ball Blue Book of Preserving and on page 54 is the strawberry jam recipe that I have used since my teens. And it's so easy to follow. I think you'll really enjoy making some jam for your own family. Here's what you need. You need a package of Sure Gel and this comes in this little packet. This is about six tablespoons worth. You're also going to need some lemon juice, 100% juice, no added sugar to it. And of course, you do need a lot of sugar. Sugar, lemon juice, and pectin are all needed to create that gel that is so good in jam and makes it spread. So you need those three ingredients. These are picked fresh from the local field. And they're beautiful and big so the first step is to wash them well now the strawberries that I purchased they grow them on that black tarp but some places don't and if you get sandy strawberries you've really got to wash them but these are really pretty clean so I'm just running them under water and we're gonna get those caps off save those for the chickens but just make sure your strawberries are dirt free now I just take a knife and I go in and I cut past that white part of the top of the strawberry and I'll save those for the girls, but that's how you cap a strawberry. Now the strawberries need to be crushed. You can use a potato masher. I've got this little gadget that I love to use to cook sausage or hamburger, but it works perfect for breaking up these strawberries. So for this recipe, four pounds of strawberries crushed, and then we're gonna get busy cooking on the stove. Now on the stove, I have a large stainless steel pot, and I'm going to add in those crushed strawberries, and also the pectin and the lemon juice. So there's a quarter cup of lemon juice, and the packet of sure gel pectin and then we're just going to mix that really well until everything is incorporated You're going to bring this to a boil, and once it's brought to a boil, you add in your sugars. And yes, seven cups is a lot of sugar. If you wanted to use less, you will need to buy the low sugar pectin. Um, you cannot reduce the sugar in this recipe because your gel will, your um, jam will not gel. So I'm adding in seven cups of sugar. And I'm going to give this a good stir until all of that sugar has dissolved. And what we're looking for is to bring this to a rolling boil, one that doesn't stop when you stir. But first, we've got to dissolve all of the sugar. Now you can see there is a nice foam that has started at the top of the pot 
and make sure you use a big deep pot because this is going to bubble up and get taller and taller so do not leave your stove at this point here it is you can see how it's risen up in the pot so make sure you have a deep pot. We're going to stir this and set a timer for one minute. And you only cook this for one minute once you get that boil that doesn't stop when you stir. So after the minute is up, you remove the pot from the stove. Now I filled my canner up with the jars. They've been washed in soapy hot water and now they're being sterilized. And I've moved the pot of the jam off the stove, skimmed off all of that foam that was on top, and now we're ready to jar it up. So hot jars out of the water. I'm adding in the hot liquid to the jar, leaving a one quarter inch head space. Make sure you debubble. Just run that down the sides to get out any bubbles. And then we're going to look at that. And I thought, you know what? That's a little bit too close to the top. So very simply just take out a couple of teaspoons and I should be good to go. Now taking a clean paper towel or cloth, we're gonna wipe that rim and make sure there's no sticky residue or you will not get a good seal. Then I'm adding a lid that's been sitting in hot water and a ring. We'll go again and let you watch this procedure. Okay, over on the stove I have my canner and it's boiling rapidly. We're going to place those jars into that boiling water, put a lid on it, and let it process for 10 minutes. Then after the jars have processed for 10 minutes, you cut the heat off, remove the lid, and then let it cool down a little bit. I let it wait till Bubbles have stopped about five minutes and then you can take out your jars. Now I will remove the jars when the water has stopped boiling. I take them out and put them on a towel, set them on the counter, and you don't disturb them for about 24 hours. All of them sealed, that you heard that nice little pop and so all of my jam has sealed and I am so excited. We have eaten all the jam that I put up last spring. So I know the family's gonna be excited to see this, but strawberry jam is so easy to do. It's a great way to get into canning. So I hope you'll give this one a try. There's nothing like homemade strawberry jam on a hot biscuit. Mm-mm, good. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I want you to give this a try if you're a beginner canner because it is so easy to make and so delicious. Y'all have a very safe and blessed day, and thank you for watching.